Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we will be talking about the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. In problem number 69, we'd like to match the graphs on the left with their area functions that are over here on the right. So first of all, let's just check out these graphs over here on the left and let's talk about what do I even mean by their area functions. Okay, so um, over here I have four graphs. One, you can see that's a nice constant function. One, it's a line, but it's going down. Uh, then I've got kind of a parabola looking thing. And finally, we've got kind of like a sine or cosine wave type graph. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm figuring out what is their area function. In other words, as I, x moves from zero across to b, I start picking up area, right? And as I pick up area, I um, either am adding area, subtracting area, but I get a total area that I've covered so far. So what I'm looking at is if I'm running from zero across to b, how much area have I accumulated at that point x? Whatever amount of area I've accumulated as I've moved across, well, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so first thing I should see is all of these guys, when I'm just sitting at zero, how much area have I accumulated? Well, I haven't picked up any area because remember I'm moving from zero across, and so I haven't accumulated any area yet. So all of these guys should start at zero, and they do. Look, I have zero here, zero here, zero here, zero here. So I've accumulated no area when I start at zero. But as I move across, I start to accumulate area. And that will tell me which one of these graphs should be associated with each of these. These are the area functions. Okay, so let's just start with this first one since it's the most simple. And what happens as I move across? Well, if I move halfway across, I pick up half of the area. And is it positive? Is it negative? Well, it's all above the t-axis, so it's all positive area. And then I just get more of the area. If I go a fourth the way, I get fourth the area. Half the way, I get half the area. All the way, I get all the area. So this is picking up area in a linear way, always positive. Which of these is this? Well, this says the area is negative everywhere. That's not it. This one says the area is positive, but at the end, I get zero area. And I know I'm getting more and more area as I come across. This guy, now this looks perfect, because as I move across, I get more and more and more area. And if I were just halfway there, then I would have picked up half of the area. This one's wrong because it does go up the entire time, but it doesn't do it in a linear way. So the answer to this first one is that is its area function is number C, or uh, letter C, whichever you prefer. Okay, uh, what about the second one? The second one, I've got some positive area that we're picking up, so this should be gaining ground on its area function because it gets more and more area until it gets about halfway. And at halfway, it starts losing area until it gets to B. So it gains area, positive area, and then it loses area and maybe goes back to zero. So does something end at zero or nearby? This one does, but this one is negative area the whole way. This one is says at the beginning I should have positive area until the halfway point, and then I should get less and less area because I'm subtracting area. So this is wrong. This one says I'm getting more and more area until I get to the midway point, and then it's less and less area. That's perfect. So B is this guy. Let's look at the third one. This one I get more and more area the further further along I go. So this one should always be positive. I, it should never dip down as negative. So what choices do I have? I have this guy and I have this guy. Well, 
this one says it's always negative area, right? Uh, so it, it can't be this one because this always is picking up positive area. Well, this one's always picking up positive area, and it's doing it in a nonlinear way because at the beginning I'm picking up uh, – just a little bit of area, and then it gets quite large as I get towards the middle, and then it gets smaller and smaller as I go towards. But it's always increasing the area. As I move across, I'm picking up more and more area the whole way, so I'd, I'd expect the area function to be getting bigger and bigger, and this one is. So this is D. And then finally, we know by default that this guy is A, but let's look at it for a second. I pick up negative area to the halfway point, so it should be going negative, and then I pick up positive area, so it should be getting less and less negative until eventually I get back to zero. So it's going negative until it gets to the halfway point, and then it gets less and less negative until I get back to zero again. And so A is perfect. And so these are uh, the four area functions, and we have found how they match up with... Uh, these functions little f of t.